Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. We will discuss about top 100 scholarship in Poland. Before we discuss further about this opportunity, let me remind you if you are new and watching this video, please do subscribe this channel. Also like this video and watch full video so that you cannot miss any part of this video and face any difficulty while applying. Also if you have not followed us on Instagram, please click the follow button or username is at the rate of full scholarships. So, Let's discuss the fully funded scholarship in Poland. You can get the link from the video description as usual. Or you can get it from Instagram bio here. Also you can comment down or message us ask for the link. So after clicking on the link from the video description below, you will be redirected to this website here. Here you can check scholarship in Poland 2022-2023 session and it's provided the Visuala University and Bachelor's Master's Scholarship. So Vistuala is the top university and here are the bachelor courses that you can study under this scholarship and here are the master's program that you can complete. So deadline for this opportunity is February 1st 2022 and financial coverage is fully funded. So here is the eligibility criteria and here is the benefits. So simply you can check application process as well. So the applicant are required to apply online to the Vistola University Merit Scholarship and link is here so applicants must pay registration fee and other details are mentioned here to begin with the application process click on this apply now button here after clicking on that apply now button here you can see the official page of Vistola University Merit Scholarship in front of us so it's in the Poland so here you can see other details for Fall semester 2021 session it's over so you can apply for spring semester here. So simply click on this apply now button. After clicking on that apply now button it will redirect you to the registration page. If you have previously logged in you can use the same details. However if you are new you can type email address and other details. It will send you an email and a it will send you an email and a username and a password in your email while confirming that you can use the same username and password so simply i have created my email account so you can click here also on i am a new applicant and fill details and get the password also you can use the google email and login via google or facebook or linked id so i have created my account so i'll be using the details simply i can use here and click on this login button so after clicking on login button here I can see I have been logged in and I have my application added to my account. So here you can see with all university merit scholarship. So now click on this added application. So you have to fill all these sections here. Also you have to complete the task and the finances. So priority. Yes it's priority. Now. I can save then click on profile submit the given name passport number so submit the issue date expiry date and submit by issued by submit date of birth submit country of birth place of birth So submit your father's first name, now submit a formal photograph, so I have my passport photograph here submitted, so I have just uploaded the sample photograph, you have to upload your own, now click on contacts. Add the address, 
then simply save now education details Submit GPA. I have not simply then save. Click language. Choose your mother tongue. Way. Then save. Click employment. Activities if you have. then save click residences you can skip now motivation submit the motivation data Now save okay. Now we can save click media files. So if you have any you can upload any of these. Now click on other. So how did you about hear about this? So you can write our name. Uh, say write below so use our username here copy our username and then paste it here have you had visa refusals before no now click on the save button documents so you can upload documents here and here is the checklist so we have to submit these registration fee so let me click on this proof of English so we have to attach these documents so we have to attach the documents here So okay, so I have to attach the documents. I have read. So I will attach that. Let me edit my application. Here on the documents, select the document. So after saving all details, we can submit it. So errors were detected but our application was saved. So let me check what we have pending.
so please attach the relevant proof of English language so we can found more here let me check this detail so we have to submit English that our degree was completed in English so let me check language So this language proficiency here you can see the task will be resolved by the foreign language center so you have to have an English proficiency certificate like I read TOEFL or if you had uh, get got your previous degree in English you can get that English proficiency certificate from your previous institute and send it to the following addresses any of the website you can open and mail them so once they verify that you have english language proficiency this task will remove here and it will go to the tick so then you have to simply click on my applications once your all details are completed you can click application and then click on this submit button here so once all details are mentioned so your application will be submitted automatically if any error persists So once your all details are complete, click on this submit button, then click on sure. So your application was saved. So once university you know, verifies your English language, this uh, language proficiency deficiency in this will automatically get corrected. And also you have to pay the fee of this 200 euros. So here is the performer so you can pay the fee and you can follow the payment should be done to this account so you have to pay to this account and then transfer and then you have to save the pdf and send it to university also i hope you have understood the process and then you can check the application process you have to complete this by deadline February 1st 2022 and that's it I hope you have understood the process so we can check other courses other uh, programs at Poland as well so I hope you have understood the whole process and please do like this video also follow our Instagram page also if you are new and watching this video please do subscribe and share this video thank you for watching